Please introduce yourself. My name is Luba. Luba, just Luba, like Cher or Madonna. Funny story, actually, about that name. Um, I actually trademarked my name, and Luba, the singer from the 80s, her company, her publicist, her people, whoever, actually tried to fight the trademark, saying that I couldn't have it because she already had it. So long story short, I wrote a letter, a personal letter, to our prime minister at that time, Stephen Harper, thank you so much. And within like a month or so, I had the trademark. So just loop. I am Canadian. I'm first generation Canadian. My parents actually came over from the Ukraine and I'm the owner operator of Wax Hair Removal Bar, the first full body waxing and bleaching, only bleaching studio in North America and also the owner operator of Bright. So yeah, you read that right. It's a thing and I invented it. This is kind of the story of the shows, what we do, the drama behind it. I've always been someone that has said, I believe in collaboration over competition. So you don't see any drama within our team, not usually. However, there is a lot of drama in what we do in the trade shows and obviously with a very taboo business. My goal is to bring women together, to work with women, to support women and to see women grow and flourish in this industry. So watch some of these videos that we're gonna send you these links to and I think you will be absolutely blown away. Something else about myself, I'm also a triple negative breast cancer survivor. I actually went through breast cancer treatment through the pandemic and didn't tell anyone. I did eight months of treatment and I even bought wigs in all different stages of hair growth so people wouldn't know that I was sick. And because it was the pandemic, when I started to lose my hair from chemo, I took the opportunity to make it a Britney Spears moment. People were thinking I was losing my mind because my businesses were closed, but I was actually going through treatment and that was just my way to kind of get around it. So yeah, I played it off as if I was having a mental breakdown, but I was literally just keeping the cancer to myself without sharing anything. So with that, I also created some cancer compassionate products and that's part of the Bright Line as well. And I'm very excited to be working with several cancer clinics and giving donations to them in the form of product to help cancer um, survivors, warriors, help with their skin care, because what happens with your skin through treatment is absolutely devastating and there's nothing else like that and no one talks about it. So this is it, this is my team. Come on our journey with us and see what you think and let me know if you think this is worth a reality show because there is so much to share. Talk to you soon. like you wobbling around in your high heel shoes i'm clumsy made friends with the floor two for one you know a bitch by four and two left feet you know i always drop first thing a girl did was a bop on the whole damn cake and the cherry on top shook up the bottom made a good girl pop you ain't even here to party can in the club trying to pipe a barbie i don't want to go 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 with the flow back then until i touch my toes i don't want to go 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 to go wrist full of rocks and i hope i float pick up yourself because you know they don't I choo 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 cause they hope I show I'm a bitch, I'm a boss I'm a bitch and a boss and I show